So we have gotten started with our Google Forms. We created a sample form. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to manipulate the data, what that looks like, look at the themes, and a little bit more about how to edit the form. All right, so once you've created the form, it will be placed right here in your Google Docs. Uh, the title of the one that I created was called Good Title. And you've got a little form icon next to it. To open it up and work with it some more, we're just going to click on the title. And what it does is it takes you to the output of the form. So whenever people start submitting your form um, data, you're going to get it into a nice organized spreadsheet format, just like this. The timestamp shows when they submitted the form, and the questions that you ask are all these categories up at the top. These don't have any because I didn't put any names on the categories, or the questions. So we'll get into that a little bit more um, here in a minute, just to look at the data. But from here, I want to show you how to get back to your form so you can edit it. To do that, you're going to click on Form, and you're going to go to Edit Form. All right, so here we are back in our form. I just want to show you again that you can move these questions up and down however you see fit. If you want to trash your question, you just click on the trash can. It'll delete it. If you want to edit the question, let's say I need to add a question in here. Click on the pencil, you can add the question here, help text, make it required or not, and then done. Alright, so next thing I want to show you real quick is how to make your form look a little bit prettier. Uh, right now it's a very plain theme, which whenever I look at this live form, it just looks real simple, straightforward. If you want to jazz it up a little bit, oh, I'm going to come back here to form, edit form. You want to come back here and you want to click on theme. And there's a bunch of themes here, 97 to be exact. And once you click on a theme, it'll give you a preview of what it'll look like. So if I were to try this theme out, this is what my form will look like to my users if I choose this theme. You can try out any of the other themes. There's all kinds in here. There's Christmas ones, there's decorative ones, there's simple ones. I usually go for simple ones, but it's totally your choice. Let me show you one more and once I click on it it'll show me the preview and then you just click on apply so now when I go to my live form that's what it will look like whenever people come to take it now the other thing I want to show you here is how to share this form out so people can actually get to it it's a long link so typically what you want to do if you're sharing this with parents or students they may not have a Google account uh, the, really the best way to do it is to share the link with them and so this link right here will take them directly to this form so they can start filling out your survey data. So this is what you're going to want to copy and paste. So if you're going to copy it and put it in an email, this is where you get it from. If you want to copy and put it to your school website, you would copy this link and uh, put it up as a hyperlink on your, on your website. When they click the link, they'll come straight to this, hit submit, and their data will be entered into the spreadsheet. Speaking of spreadsheets, I want to show you this a little bit more. I'm going to close this one. I shared another doc with me, a form with me, from my other account. And what we did was I surveyed to parents about what technology they had in the home. So I just want to click on this just to show you what an actual form that's filled out looks like. So here's a form um, of, of my parents of my school, Jay and Freeze Middle. You can see that 237 have responded. You see the timestamps of when they did. And it shows you all the data that they entered into the form. Just to give you an idea of what this form looks like, I'm just going to go to the live form. This is a survey they took. I just did drop downs. These are choose from a list. Names. Another choose from a list. Grade level. And when they hit submit, this is exactly what it looks like. One thing I do want to show you real quickly um, before we end this video is this really handy little data tool. If you've done a form where you have lots of good data that you've collected, there's a really quick and easy way to see what that uh, data looks like, a summary. You just click on Form, and you're going to go to Show Summary of Responses. What it does is it gives you nice, handy little graphs of the responses in your form. So, which program was, was done? I had 54% STEM, 46% IB. The grade level breaks it down into pie graph. Internet access at home, whether or not they add they own stuff and at the bottom it's going to tell you what how many daily responses you had for each day so it'll tell you which days were the most active when people were actually submitting the form 
So that's a handy little tool so you can look at your data really easily and quickly. All right, um, so that ends this uh, segment, which is the basics. In the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to customize your headers, how to add some new flares to your forms, and how to embed your forms and things like that. So that'll be the next video, Beyond the Basics. Thank mm -hmm. you.